welcome back to the channel y'all um i'm doing another meet today this one in 1000 feet hey, excuse turn that uh navigation because right. i've never been there before but check this out right i'm going to a new meet never been here before here's the kicker it's a mustang meet turn so i'm right. bringing then turn right y'all gotta excuse that i'm bringing the hellcat to a mustang meet i'm gonna see if they let me in and then you know hellcat crashes turn the mustang right. meet so we'll see how this goes stay tuned speed nation i'm here and look at the looks you i'm getting <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> All right, Speed Nation, I'm here, right? This is a Mustang meet, S550 Mustang meet. You see it right behind me. Hellcat right here. I'm parked all crooked. I'm starting trouble, right? But here you have it right here, y'all. All the Mustangs right here. S550 Mustang meet. I'm here, I'm crashing the meet, y'all. Let me see if is the Mustang guys gonna show me love or are they gonna kick me out? The Mustang guys are showing me love, y'all. That's awesome. Car community. Hey, I'm need to speak car review. I have a Hellcat, which sucks, right? Not really. <laughs> But I'm a car guy. I love cars. I'm not a Mopar guy. I'm a car guy. And I want to say this to everybody. I always wanted a Mustang, but I never was able to get one. Ever since the Fox body from, I want to say, 87 or mid-80s and up, and I was in love with that Mustang. 225 horsepower. I don't know. So it was just the way it sounds. Man, everything about it, I always wanted one, and I was just never able to get one. It just never worked out for me. Right. Well, but, you know. Be, you did, I did okay. Yeah, I did. I did. Probably a lower APR. But, yes, sir. I'm going to film some of your cars real quick. Thank you. I used to be a car guy. You used to be. All right, guys. We here. Mustang me. Right. Hellcat crash is the Mustang me. You know how we do it, right? I'm about to show you some of these Mustangs out here. And anyway, the Mustang guys, I applaud them for what they doing. They out, they out of chill environment. Nobody getting rowdy, rowdy, and body, body, right? That's a, that's an old Master P saying for some of you. Yeah, y'all probably don't have a clue what I just said. Master P, he said that. But we got some nice Mustangs out here. And if y'all don't know me, need to speed. I'm a car guy. I'm not a Mopar guy. I love all cars. There's something about all cars that's special. And I realize that, you know, it's not just about one particular brand with me, you know, and I'm not gonna limit myself to one particular brand. That's just what it is. That's just being real, you know, because, you know, every car, every brand has something special. And I wouldn't experience it all. That's what the true car guy did, right? So you got some real nice ones. Um, you got an HPE 700 right there. Nice. I would like to talk to that one. So if you don't know what an HPE 700 is, that's him. That's Hennessy, John Hennessy. He put his touch on it. He put a kit on it where it has 700 horsepower. And um, yeah, that's his badge, HPE, Hennessy Performance Engineering. That's what HPE stands for. So there we have it. We got a GT350, right? Shelby, you know, enough said. When I say Shelby, I mean, there's no other word you can actually say behind that. George, he's the owner of it right here, right? Yes, sir. George, tell me a little bit about your Shelby GT350. Um, you know what year is it because you know they're gonna stop making this and right. um you know i think this year is the last year in fact it, i think it is um i love the color by the way yeah just, just give me a yeah so it's a 2019 uh shelby gt 350 
Um, I got it uh, about 30 days ago with 1,300 miles on it. Okay. Um, it's still pretty much bone stock. Okay. Uh, we're trying to get um, we're trying to get some uh, some stuff going for it here pretty soon. Okay. Uh, resonated leaf being first uh, tint, expel, the whole nine. Okay. Uh, some hydro dipping on the uh, on the rear uh, gurney flap. Right. And uh, well that you know that gurney flap is good for like 50 horsepower. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. What 50 they say. and 60 something yeah, like that. that that's stuff. for y'all non-car guys. <laughs> so so we're gonna get that done, and then uh, and then you know I mean you know season's almost done, so I'm gonna put her up. Yeah. And uh, over the over the uh, winter uh, month, I'll be working on it. Okay. And next year, bring it back out. Awesome. Whole different car. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, good luck with your build. Hey, and it's all about having fun. Like yes, I said, sir. I'm not a Mopar guy. I'm a car guy. And I show everybody love. Right. And that's what it's about. Every car has a story. And it should be told. Right? And that's what I'm doing. Because that's what it's about. And, and it, you may think the car is the same. They may look the same, different colors. But it's not. They're all different personalities are different just like the people because the car takes on the person the owner's personality right yes sir so, so thank you george i really appreciate thank it you thanks for uh All right showing my car no problem okay speed nation i'm back here again with daniel and he has a real cool story to tell about his he got a 2016 gt350 this is his first b8 right his first manual his first Mustang. You know, it's crazy. So, so tell, tell the audience a little bit about your story, real quick. So I, uh, I uh, had just got a new job and I was itching to, to, to kind of reward myself. And I was looking around at cars and um, I was driving a 2009 Honda Civic at the time. Um, reliable, uh, uh, couldn't break that car if I wanted to, uh, but I was looking for something a little more fun. So eventually I settled on the Mustang and I'm like, okay, well, what, what, what cool Mustangs are out there? You know, what can I get that's a little bit extra? And uh, uh, I fell in love with the, uh, the GT350. So, and went next to me, I says, no, sorry. And eventually I found a guy who says, yeah, we could do that. Yeah. And I thought, oh God, he said yes. What do I do now? <laughs> I, I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting him to say yes. Right. But it, it worked out and I took the car home and um, I surprised my uh, my parents with it. I said, hey, mom, dad, look what I got. Right. And uh, dad says, is that a manual? I go, yeah. He goes, when did you learn how to drive stick? I said, on the way home from the dealership. And my dad was, oh my God, you picked a hell of a car to learn on, son. What are you doing? <laughs> and check this out. He's still on the stock clutch. He didn't burn up his clutch, which that's that's a testament to the Ford clutch. Yeah. And, you know, he... His learning ability it, as it well. It says more about the clutch than it does my driving skill, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> so any future plans with the car? Um, any performance mods or anything? Performance-wise, probably not. Okay. Um, I, I know a few guys who have done superchargers and right. twin turbo setups. Right. And nothing wrong with that, but I, I want to keep it stock. Uh, nothing wrong with that as well. Cool. I have done the uh, resonator delete on the exhaust, so it's, okay. it's not super loud. It's, but it sounds it's nice. a little extra volume. Right. I've done some cosmetic things. Um, the 2016 spoiler, which is a, a little tiny kind of blade style spoiler. Right. I upgraded to the 2017 track pack spoiler, which is similar to what's on this car. Okay. And then I, a few months ago, I got the 2019 spoiler. Okay. Um, just for cosmetics more than performance. Right, right. I, I, I just like how it's it's that just crazy looking <laughs> style, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, I did have some parts uh, in the engine bay painted to match the car. Okay. Um, I can so this little visual. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. I had, uh, I had uh, the coil covers painted, and right. I got a, a fuse box painted up with the Cobra okay. logo, and I had the uh, this radiator cover from the factory is just black. I had a, a friend introduce me to someone with a paint shop, and okay. I said, "Hey, can you paint it like this?" He goes, "Oh, heck yeah!" So you did a good job. So it's a good job. When, when it's clean, it really pops. <laughs> right, right, right. I understand. Looks good. Looks real good. But Daniel, I appreciate it. Thanks for sharing your story. Yeah, you. <laughs> okay, Speed Nation. I have Ryan right here. Um, he has the HPE 700 package on his Mustang. Um, that's what I was talking about earlier. But Hennessy Performance. And go ahead and tell me a little bit about your experience with Hennessy. Because 
there's a lot of misconceptions. Yeah. Um, you look at the reviews and stuff. Just from an owner's perspective, a person that went through the process of getting a bill through Hennessy, give us your perspective of it. Actually, I've had a really good experience with them. I've had to send it back two or three times uh, for silly things. Like I took it on the, uh, so the track and blew through my cats. Right. They replaced them for free, even though it wasn't their responsibility to do it. That's right. fine. Right. Uh, you see, there's a couple times there was a. Uh, because normally, I don't mean to cut you off. Normally, yeah, yeah. they only uh, repair the parts that, or warranty the parts that they actually replace. Mm -hmm. You know, from what Engine, I've been reading. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If there okay. was any kind of, you know, tuning issues. They would have took care of it. And right. Like that. Right. But it ran great. Okay. You know, all through since then I track it. Right. Motocrest and Eagle Canyon. Right. Right. So I beat the mess yeah. out of it. Yeah. So. Put it As you can face. see from all the right. road rash. <laughs> you, put it, you put the car through his, his face. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have right. 78,000 miles on it. And wow. I still track it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I can't see the strong that, build. Yeah. Um, okay. They did anything wrong. Right. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. What size ripple is that? Uh, that's the 2.9. 2.9. Yeah. That's a big. That's a big whip. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big supercharge. And then you can see, you know, inside here that I got the camber plates, coil over. Right. Coil over. Yeah. I got a solid uh, aluminum drive shaft. Okay. Harden up the rear ends. Yeah. And you got some suspension work done as well. Yeah. The Hennessy do that? Or? No, I did that. Okay. Yeah. They did just the engine. Okay. I said that you know they were gonna do the carbon fiber wheels, which I kind of regret not doing. Right. You know, I was like, well, if I'm gonna crack it, you know, yeah. if I go messing up carbon fiber, I'm gonna yeah. go mad. Yeah. That that yeah. So, that is expensive. Yeah. Um, so but so you, they did say anytime I wanted to, the parts they take off some of the other cars, that they're allowed to resell. Okay. I get it a, a real good discount. Okay. Like okay. Track the pads and brake pads and stuff like that. As right. you know, if you road course, yeah, you're, going through you're those hard on those things. Day, right. You know, it's done. Right. So. Right. And that's what I experienced because I only road course vehicles, cars, a couple of times, handful of times. And you're hard on the gas, hard on the brake. You're never soft on either one or the other at any point in time. You're all the way on the throttle or all the way on the brake hard and you're really hard on your car so it it really puts your car through the paces you know when you track a vehicle so yes yeah, um your rotors are glowing they're smoking yes. you put on emergency brake to park it it's sticking yes <laughs> you know true that's right true to the rotors that's true yeah so you also went to a uh, florida uh west palm beach dino you also uh, they did a tune. remote tune on this. Okay, yeah. remote tune. Okay. I'm still having a little bit of issues, but it's been hard for them to tune. I still gotta uh, log it, right. send them a tune, and they'll okay, and edit it and right. you know, send me another. Okay, so. okay, so it's work in progress. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a okay. sluggish on the high end. Right. You know, but, okay. But overall, you know, you're enjoying the vehicle, and that's what oh, it's yeah. about. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, I'm cool. Driving to the wheels fall off. And, I'm not shy about putting it through its paces. <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> so there you have it, Speed Nation. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Every car has a story. I just gave you a couple. Jamal, man, this man is crazy. crazy. All right, Speed Nation. So check this out. I got Maverick right here, right? He's got a 2021 5.0. He's 17 years old. Let me tell y'all something. This is a, a testament to you youngins. If you grind hard enough, you can get what you want. Because I tell you what, he worked hard and he, he, he wanted this vehicle. This was his, one of his dreams. He worked hard and he accomplished his goal. He was able to purchase his vehicle. So here's Maverick. Maverick, tell me a little bit about yourself and then tell me about your car. Yes, sir. So right now, I just got this a few months ago, and I have a lot planned for it. I'm going to tune it to 85. Right now, I just got the base model. I got it for a really good, I'm just sticker price. So I'm going to do a lot to it. I'm uh, I'm going to get it. Right now, I'm a spooler, uh, getting wrapped, or not wrapped, but painted gloss black. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna get a new drag tire. Maybe not, probably like proxies or something like I was talking okay. about. Yeah. And then obviously I have the base model rims right now. Right. So I'm gonna get new rims down the line. But okay. like I said, I'm only 17. I have a long way to build up. You do. Like all I have is a tent right now. Right. I have an H pipe installed right now. Okay. So later on I'm gonna get an axle back. And the okay. last thing's probably gonna be headers. Okay. That's the most expensive thing. One thing, Maverick, I want you to be extremely safe while you out there. Be yes, safe. sir. Yeah. You I know. pay a lot of money though. I know. I know. You you work hard. I work you know, too long for you, you don't want to just throw it away over, you know, so just be careful, yes, right? Sir. Have fun, but be careful. Um, and, and enjoy what you purchase, you know. Enjoy modifying it, because that's what it's about. Just that's the what the car community cars. is about. Yeah, Absolutely. Car community, yeah. Absolutely. And I w you're a testament to all the viewers, right? Because a lot of them are young. Some of yeah, them are young. It's definitely it's a commitment. Hard. It's a it's definitely a commitment. If you want it, you can have it. But it's definitely you have to work for you. There's no days off. Like right. I work five days a week. I mean, I started school recently, so I honestly had the extra money for mods. But right now, I'm just paying my car payment, still in school. Right. Have my year off, and right. then I'm gonna be 18. So maybe maybe I, I'm gonna reiterate what he just said. Because look, his parents don't pay his car note, y'all. Exactly. He pays it. Exactly. 17 years old, still in high school, but he's working. And he saves his money. He's work paying anywhere. the note. You work anywhere, too. You can get a job, get up. I work at the Avis Airport. You just, there you go. anywhere you can work. So. There you go. Well, keep up the good work, Maverick. And like sure. I said, be safe. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And sure. all that good stuff. So, we'll see you. Have a good one. Have Peace. A good one.